頑張れ、エメ。お、そうじゃん、大ハッスル。頑張れ。You know why I'm working out so hard? I'm getting my lower body in shape for the next breeding season. I'm Aime, a giant panda. If I were human, I'd be in my 70s. I became a father again last year. Baby is now six months old and growing up nicely. <laughs> We live in the town of Shirahama in Wakayama Prefecture, Western Japan. I've fathered 14 cubs here. People say I'm the most fertile panda in the world, apart from pandas in China who are polygamous. An international conference on breeding giant pandas took place in China last year. The unique breeding method used in Shirahama drew a lot of attention. 皮是成都产，这个管理皮子产，活人要好人多。Happy, happy world and happy place. The zoo in Shirahama has one of the most successful breeding centers in the world. We spent 1,000 days closely covering its program. We succeeded in recording the whole breeding process from before the birth to the nursing stage. The first time this has ever been done. A newborn panda faces life-threatening dangers. Postnatal stress causes the mother to turn violent. Panda cubs are extremely vulnerable. Raising them takes a lot of human care. But the zoo in Shirahama keeps this to a minimum and tries to bring out the mother's maternal instincts. Giant pandas are on the verge of extinction. But one panda family in Shirahama may help to assure the future of the species. Spring is in the air. Are you enjoying the season? Here at Adventure World Zoo, we're all celebrating the arrival of spring. There are 140 species of animals living here. Which one do you think is the most popular? If you'll forgive me for saying so, it's my family, the giant pandas. Hello, I'm Aimee. I was born in China. 
and came to Shirahamar in 1994. I'm the fifth oldest male panda in the world. Of all those elderly guys, I'm the only one who's still going strong. I may be getting on a bit in age, but I'm still a big hit with the young girls. This is my wife, Rauhin. In human years, she'd be in her 40s. I love her with all my heart. She presented me with my 14th baby last fall. We began following the panda breeding program in Shirahama three years ago. We filmed this rare footage of pandas mating. The breeding season for giant pandas is brief only around three days a year. Zookeepers watch over the couple with bated breath. They carefully determine the timing of the mating. They separate the animals when they get themselves into an awkward position. pandas living around the world today. Coming up with ways to increase the population is a big challenge. Pandas are native to China. For the past 30 years, the country has been cooperating with zoos across the world to breed the animals. When the cubs born at these zoos grow up, they're sent to China to help produce the next generation. When it comes to producing cubs, the center in Shirahama is the most successful one. Four months after the pandas made it, Rauhin seems on the verge of giving birth. She won't even eat bamboo, her favorite food. Things could change at any moment. The staff goes without sleep or rest to monitor Rauhin. Tomoko Endo heads the 15-member team. This is her first time to oversee a delivery as team leader. Oh, 
うん<笑>動いたら対応しなきゃいけないので On September 17th, Rauhin seemed restless. Rauhin suddenly let out a shrill cry, a sure sign that she's about to deliver. For pandas, giving birth is an extremely risky business. The mother can crush the tiny baby if it's not given adequate attention the moment it's born. Rauhin's water has broken. Baby pandas are usually born immediately after the mother's water breaks. But there's no sign of the baby appearing anytime soon. If this situation continues, the lives of both the mother and the child will be at risk. Three hours after her water broke, Rauhin's strength was reaching its limit. She started to push. female. Yet another new life is born in Shirahama. Cubs weigh only 200 grams at birth. 20% are said to die even if they receive human care. Any delay in the first breastfeeding means the baby won't get enough nutrients, further increasing the risk. But Rauhin is so exhausted from the delivery that she won't pick up the baby. The zookeepers continue waiting.
This is in line with Shirahama's philosophy. Newborn pandas have a high mortality rate. It used to be normal practice to take them away from their mother immediately after they were born and put them under strict human control. When the mother wouldn't breastfeed, keepers bottle-fed the baby. But pandas raised by humans lacked initiative. They wouldn't try to produce offspring as adults, which was a challenge to propagating the species. Shirahama makes sure the mother spends as much time as possible with the baby to bring out her maternal instincts. Tomoko Kumakawa has been involved with the Shirahama method for many years. She believes breastfeeding allows the mother to develop a maternal bond with her baby. She has faith in Rauhin and keeps watching, paying close attention to the baby. By the time day breaks, they've been waiting for 12 hours. Rauhin finally holds the baby close to her chest and begins breastfeeding it. よかった。よかった。よかった。よかった。よかった。よかった。よかった。よかった。よかった。よかった。よかった。よかった。よかった。よかった。よかった。よかった。よかった。よかった。よかった。よかった。よかった。よかった。よかった。よかった。よかった。
For panda cubs, the largest risk to survival comes during the first week of their lives. Three days after the baby's arrival, something occurred that even the zookeepers hadn't expected. A massive typhoon hit the area. Wastewater flooded into the room that housed Rauhin and her baby, raising the risk of infection. They had no option but to temporarily separate the mother and child to clean and disinfect the room. Rauhin won't leave the baby's side. Giant pandas can only think of one thing at a time. The zookeepers use this characteristic to their advantage. Rauhin moves to the adjacent room, lured by some pieces of apple, her favorite treat. Rauhin suddenly begins crying and becomes agitated. The longer the separation lasts, the more stress the mother feels, affecting her ability to take care of her baby. In the worst case, she could harm the baby or abandon it altogether. The baby is returned to her mother. Rauhin finally calms down. <laughs> <laughs> that night, Rauhin does something she's never done before. She licks the baby lovingly. Pandas, including those in the wild, lick their babies like this to prevent their body temperature from dropping. Rauhin's maternal instinct is steadily kicking in. Hello again, this is Amy. Sorry, I don't help raise my children? Male giant pandas like to stay independent. We leave all the child rearing duties to mothers. I'm not exactly proud of myself. My wife Rauhin is a great mother. But she hasn't been like that right from the start. In 2008, Rauhin was about to deliver her first baby. She looked worried.
Rauhin wouldn't try to pick up the baby in her mouth. It took her ages just to pick up the cub. She was all thumbs at everything. Rauhin couldn't even breastfeed properly and would make the baby cry all the time. But don't blame her. There was a sad reason for her behaviour. Rauhin was born in Shirahamra in 2001. The system was different then. She was separated from her mother soon after birth and raised artificially. Having grown up without any maternal care, Rowan didn't know how to provide it to her own baby. That was when the breeding staff stepped in. They assisted Rauhin in various ways, so that she was able to raise the baby by herself. The staff would gently guide the baby to Rauhin's breast, encouraging her to breastfeed it by herself. When Rauhin fell asleep, unaware that she'd dropped the baby, an attendant would imitate the cub's squeal to alert her. In this way, the keepers were able to gradually foster a sense of motherhood in her. The toughest time for the team was when Rauhin had twins. Giant pandas actually have a 50% chance of having twins. But in the wild, we have no choice but to abandon one of them because it's impossible to raise two cubs at the same time. But with the help of the staff, Rahun successfully raised both of her twins. Look at this, she can hold them both in her arms. Few other pandas in the world do this. Rahun succeeded in becoming an affectionate mother. Behind this were her painstaking efforts in partnership with the breeding team. <laughs> the team supporting Rauhin is made up of 15 members. Most of them have moved from other parts of Japan to become involved in panda care. Tomoko Kumakawa is from Tokyo. She was present for all four of Rauhin's past deliveries and the subsequent rearing of the cubs. Having watched Rauhin grow from birth, Kumakawa says she's now completely familiar with the panda's personality. For Kumakawa, it's essential to constantly observe Rauhin and build up trust with her. Rauhin 
こう心の中で会話をしているような感じですねどれだけ観察力があるかどれだけ気づくことができるかっていうのがものすごく重要になってくると思います。The sixth day after the delivery. The baby has a problem. As it turned out, Rauhin had licked the baby so hard that it caused inflammation. Given a vulnerable infant immune system, the condition could turn into a serious infection if left untreated. Tomoko Endo, the newly appointed team leader, was forced to make a decision. She decided to temporarily separate the baby from Raoheen for treatment, running the risk of causing the mother significant stress. turned violent as she attempted to retrieve the baby. What's more, Raoheen even started to make an unusual noise. Endo starts to doubt her decision. This is based on bitter experience. This footage is when Raoheen was raising her previous cub. Endo was having trouble checking the baby's health, and so she kept it separated from Raoheen for an extended period. As a result of the considerable stress this created, Raoheen turned rough, swinging the baby around when she was reunited with it. This abnormal behavior could have hurt the cub. Veteran carer Kumakawa had been carefully observing Raoheen. She viewed the mother's behavior differently. Kumakawa interpreted Raoheen's behavior as an expression of her deep affection for the baby. Endo also trusted that the mother could endure the stress and continued the treatment. The 
treatment was successful and the baby survived the life-threatening crisis. Rauhin also stopped acting abnormally. Life for the mother and child went back to the way it was before. One month after it was born, the cub's black and white coloration begins to clearly emerge. Then at 80 days, The name Yuihin was selected from more than 50,000 suggestions from the public. In Japanese, Yui has the sense of tying a knot. The hope embedded in the name is that she will serve as a link between the present and the future. With the love and affection of her mother, Yuihin is growing steadily. Hello, it's Aime. I'm relieved to see that my daughter Yui Hin is growing up healthily. I'm now in my 70s in human terms. I've come such a long way. I arrived in Shirahama in 1994. My job was to father a lot of children. I think I can say I've lived up to the expectations. I've had 14 so far. I understand eight of them have been sent to China for breeding. This is my second son, Yuhin. And here's Ahin, my sixth son. All my children have Hin in their name. It's another reading of Hama from Shirahama. So we're the Hama family. And I hear we've become a major breed in China. It has now been almost a quarter of a century. I'm pretty old now. All the same, the breeding staff still seems to expect a lot of me. They check my worn out teeth. And take blood samples to test for disease. I keep a close eye on my health. Mm. They even go this far. Checking my testicles to see if I'm still potent. For your information, they measured about nine centimeters across at this time. That's the same as five years ago. So I'm pronounced still active for breeding. I keep setting new records as the world's oldest giant panda to father a child. 
And this wouldn't have been possible without the support of the people around me. そのYuihin seems agitated. Raohin tries to encourage her. The panda breeders at Shirahama let cubs spend time with their mothers even after they're able to walk on their own. This helps them acquire social skills and learn how to get along with other pandas. The latest research shows that adult animals raised in this way have high rates of successful breeding. In addition, zookeepers believe the approach helps mothers develop a positive attitude toward child rearing after giving birth, leading to a good parenting environment. The breeders' efforts have paid off not only in Japan, but also in China, the home of the giant panda. Kumagawa and Endo visited China. They had gotten some good news from a giant panda breeding center there. is a female raised by Raohin. She was sent to China in 2013. She was Raohin's first cub. The Chinese breeders say Meihin has had a baby and that it's being raised using a method similar to the one in Shirahama. This reaffirmed the confidence Kumakawa and Endo have in their approach. Wow, <laughs> <laughs> 
てるよおばあちゃんなんだよ<笑>あいつはベイギーの子供を見た時にああちゃんとみ着実に実ってるんだなっていうのがしっかりと芽を出しているなっていうのを見て安心しました、うん、嬉しかったですあんなちっちゃかった子供だった子がちゃんと親になって子育てしてるんだっていう感動があります親になれる能力を持って旅立っていってくれたんだなっていう Giant pandas born and raised in Shirahama are now poised to nurture the lives of the next generation. Hi, this is Amy. Well, I'm embarrassed to say I'm even a grandfather now. My keepers have given me this sandbag. So that I can keep my strength up for the coming mating season. I'm no longer as physically fit as I used to be. Say, you in? You may well be my last child. But I have no regrets. I hope you grow up to be a sweet mother. My vision is a little hazy now. But I can clearly see a bright future for you. <laughs> <laughs> 